Throughout today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can tell if the woman you are with truly respects you. And there are two signs to look for that always boil down to one metric. Consistency. Why? Because genuine women are who they claim to be from day one till the day they die. Words and actions will always match and the pattern in the behavior remains the same. Before we get into this, let me give you a piece of scripture from the Bible, which confirms what I have just stated. Proverbs 31 verse 10 through 12 tells us the following. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? The heart of her husband safely trusts in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. It is written, this right here is God's standard for the woman you should choose to marry. This is up to you, but this is what you should aspire to seek in a future wife. She does good to you every single day of her life, and she never does any evil to you. That right there could not be any clearer. That confirms that a woman worthy of marriage will always respect you no matter what. Meaning, whenever there are issues in a relationship, it's not going to come from a place of disrespect. It will mostly come from a misunderstanding or a miscommunication. And because she loves you, she's never going to do any harm to you. So this is the standard. It is written. With that said, let's begin with today's video. Here are two signs that she respects you. And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Christian. This is Relearning Relationships, where I teach men to master relationships righteously. If you'd like to learn more about what I do, there are different links in the description. Back to the video. So there are two indicators that you can use to righteously discern and gain clarity on whether she respects you or not. Number one is that she consistently values your presence. And number two, she always shows admiration and respect towards you via words and actions. Number one, why is this so important? that she consistently values your presence. Because when a woman has chosen you from a place of want, free will, she looks at you, thinks you're handsome, there's chemistry. As she gets to know you, your character comes out, your values, you're compatible. And she, in her mind, realizes that you are an honorable man, worthy of being a husband and father. Mm -hmm. She will appreciate you. And because she feels lucky to have you and grateful, what happens when you appreciate something? You take care of it. So she will treat you with respect. Feminine women are relationship oriented. When she has chosen to be with you and you are who you say you are, you show up to that relationship as an honorable man. She feels safe and comfortable with you, protected by you. She's going to open up and grow closer and closer to you. And that is going to come out by her valuing your presence day in, day out. So what does this look like? Very simple. When you spend time with her, she will tell you with her words that she's grateful for the plans you made, for example. That she's happy that you made yourself, made yourself available to come and see her. That she enjoys being around you. Whenever you are busy working on your career or business, or you're just away from her to attend to errands, your absence makes her heart grow fonder. When you're apart from her, she will call you or text you. And she will tell you things like, I miss you. I love you. I just wanted to see what you were up to. I can't wait to see you again later. How are you? I just wanted to check in. When can I see you again? That is what a woman does when she values your presence. Being away from you hurts. She yearns to see you again. She's desiring to reconnect, so she will always reach out. Okay. When she values your presence, guys, she prioritizes you. 
I don't care if she's studying or working. She lives maybe a few hours away. She needs to take the bus or drive down to see you. She's tired. She's sick. She's coming to see you. She desires to be close to you because she values you. What is, what is a value? A value is something we place importance upon. When you are important enough to a woman, she puts in the work. You become her priority. You are her man. You are her rock, her mountain. She feels safe with you. So she wants you. She's grateful when you spend time together. You can see it in the way she looks at you. That sparkle in her eyes. Mm -hmm. Her smile. The way she's feminine and melts in your presence. That is what it is. And it doesn't matter whether you're going on dates, for lunch, for dinner, going to the park, going for a hike, or you're staying in, cooking together, watching a movie, doing a Bible study, whatever it is that you're doing together. Just being around you is enough because you are the present. You are the prize. The same way you look at her and feel lucky, and in your eyes, she's your prize. She feels the same about you. It's mutual, right? We have a lot of modern dating advice out there telling men that, oh, they're the prize, but the woman isn't, or vice versa for feminists. That's simply not true. You should both mutually feel like you are lucky and blessed to have each other. That's love. That's appreciation. You're both pouring love into each other. That's how it should be, right? When a woman values your presence, she'll communicate by telling you and showing you in very blatant, overt displays of love. Whether it's buying you gifts, treating you to little things, writing you love letters and other romantic gestures. She keeps putting in the effort. She'll schedule plans for the both of you. She'll always greet you with a warm welcome. Right? Her schedule is always flexible and open for you. She never cancels on you. If she really is busy, she'll give you a counter offer and then make herself available. She will clear out her schedule to see you. She'll jump fences to come and see you. Right? She makes herself available for you. It's easy to spend time with her and make plans with her. You actually want to. Guys, when a woman loves you, she makes it easy for you. Okay? Women who are damaged, women who are immature or who are settled for you, they're going to be structured. They're going to play mind games. They're not going to be genuine. But a righteous woman, she values your presence because in her eyes, you're a 10 out of 10. She's lucky to have you. Why would she not? Right? So you're going to see always a track record of her consistently valuing your presence. I'm not talking about three, three weeks ago or six months ago. Give it time. But what you should see if she's genuine as a confirmation that she does respect you, is that she consistently values your presence. Always. You're away from her, she's texting you, she's calling you, she responds in a timely manner to your messages. Sometimes you don't even have to schedule a date. She's making plans for the both of you. She's making herself available, asking when she can see you again. More and more and more, as the weeks transition into months or even years, She's growing closer and closer and closer to you till it leads to engagement, moving in and marriage and children. And she's always discussing these things with you. You've covered your values. You both want each other. It's just a matter of growing and deepening the emotional bond. And the more emotion she develops for you, then the more of your presence she will value. This is very simple and it's, that's all there is to it. There's no secret. There's no strategy or tactic. This is just a principle that has stood the test of time. If you value your health, what do you do day in, day out? You eat clean, you exercise, you get enough sleep. You don't put drugs into your body. You don't self-harm. You don't put in substances that willingly damage or destroy your health. You nurture your body, you take care of it, you value it. Consistently, because it's part of who you are. It comes from a place of integrity. You appreciate your life. Well, you take care of it. Same thing in a relationship. You value the woman you're with, you're putting in an effort all the time. Your business, all the time. Your career, always. If she loves you, she respects you, she's going to want to relate to you, bond with you, connect with you, spend her time with you. Consistently. 
That is the first sign that she respects you. The second sign is that she always shows admiration and respect towards you via her words and actions. I'm not talking about her, you know, freeing up her schedule or just being in your presence and appreciating it. This is beyond that. This is a woman that showers you with affection. What do I mean by that? I'm not talking about her just holding your hand and kissing you and being all over you and yearning to be intimate with you. But she actually compliments you for who you are. Now, compliments can be external and internal. An external compliment can be what you would call somewhat lustful. I mean, if she finds you attractive, it's going to happen, right? But she will tell you things. You're handsome, uh, you have a nice jawline, or you have beautiful eyes, or you have nice arms or nice shoulders. I love the way you dress, I love the way you look, I like your accent. You have a beautiful smile, oh, I'm such a lucky woman, you're so handsome. She tells you those things consistently. Because again, she chose to be with you, she didn't settle for you, she thinks you're hot. She's happy to show you off, she's lucky to have you. Okay? But then internal compliments. This is what really matters, is... She compliments you for who you are. Your personality, your qualities, your, your character traits, your humour, the way you are. As she gets to know you and sees that you really are a genuine man, you are who you claim to be, then she's going to really show admiration for who you are, your integrity. She's going to be proud of what you do in your business or your work. She will love the ideas you have and the way you can talk to her, right? Who you are as a man, that's what she appreciates. And she will tell you that. She can see the kindness in you. She can see how masculine you are. She, she will even tell you she appreciates how calm you are, how strong you are. Anything like that relating to internal qualities of you as a man, how direct you are, how firm you are in your values, how it's rare to find a guy like you, right? For example, but those are some of the things that your woman should be saying consistently. Why? Because respect and admiration, it's just a metric to weigh how you're showing up to the relationship. If you are who you say you are, unless she's settled for you or she's messed up in the head, and she's chosen to be with you, and she feels lucky to have a man like you, she can see you as her future husband. She can see you as being the future father of her children, why would she not compliment you? Why would she not show you pretty much daily how much you mean to her? That's what love is. Love isn't something you do just on Valentine's Day. It's something you do every day. So she's going to show you that. She's going to shower you with affection. She's going to submit to you. What does that mean? Well, a woman's, sub a woman's submission can only be given when your dominance is received. Dominance isn't abusive or controlling. Dominance is calm. It's peaceful. Dominance leads. It protects. You make her feel safe. You are trustworthy. And because you are an honourable man, she feels safe to open up, be a woman around you, and let you lead the relationship. And all she wants to do is be in the driver's seat and let you take care of her. And she will submit to you, which is nurturing you, taking care of you. She will do favours for you, cook, help you with chores. She wants to include herself in your life. And show you that she values you, right? Remember, words and actions, it's always there. She finds joy in serving you and helping you in any way possible. Okay, so again, part of her being submissive is now her heart's more open to you, so she's more vulnerable and she trusts you with that. So when she's around you, she looks her best for you. She doesn't settle or stop doing that. She dresses pretty for you. She makes herself look attractive to you. She wants to impress you. She's... Remember, femininity is reactive. And because you're masculine, she naturally wants to look good for you. She wants you to be attracted to her. So she does those little things through her actions. Okay. She's going to make it her mission to make your life easier, happy and fun. She will be an asset to you and never a liability. You want to come home to her. You want to spend more time with her. I mean, she treats you so well. Why wouldn't you? So that's what you're going to see, that she always admires you because she's submissive towards you. Okay, she doesn't fight you on things. She doesn't raise her voice at you or discuss things in a, 
in a disrespectful manner. She always communicates respectfully towards you, right? She's submissive. She's the woman in the relationship and you're the man. Remember, the husband is the head of the home, but the woman is the heart of the home. A feminine woman, she's grateful to have a man who can lead her. Very simple. The next thing is, with her words and actions, you're going to see that she's not just submissive. She's not just affectionate towards you, but she's faithful. What does that mean? Simple. She's loyal. She doesn't compare you to other men. She doesn't throw other men into your face. There's not a list of male friends in the background waiting on for their round with her, right? She doesn't put herself in situations that would disrespect you or ruin or threaten the relationship. She doesn't let men get close to her, okay? She's careful with the things she uploads on social media. It's private, so she, you know, she's not allowing men to have that access. And in any event that they do, whether in person or online, she's responsible for how close they get. She cuts them off and she always tells and shows you. She's not going out to the club. She's not out there drinking, getting drunk with other men. And neither neither does she hang around with the wrong crowd of women. Because remember, 1 Corinthians 15, 33, bad company corrupts good morals. A wise woman knows this. So she's careful and knows her dignity is in her hands. She doesn't associate with bad women. She doesn't want to disrespect you. She knows that as your woman, she represents you. And... She's going to honour that by not allowing bad women in her life and by not getting close to other men. Why would she even want to when she's faithful to you? Remember, Proverbs 31 verse 11, from what I covered before, it says that the heart of her husband safely trusts in her. That can only happen if she's faithful to you. And yes, faithfulness is traceable. Loyal people are who they say they are, day in, day out. Words and actions match. That's what you're going to see. She's loyal to you. There's no comparisons to other men. There's no sudden breaks in her behavior. She doesn't suddenly change and turn her values around. She is who she says she is. She's genuine and real. Words and actions will match that. That's a sign that she admires you. And finally, within this, if she truly does respect and admire you, she will communicate healthily without emasculating you. And that is key. If she's uncomfortable by something you've said or she feels disrespected by something that you didn't mean or she wants to gain clarity on that, she will sit there and calmly talk it through with you. She doesn't play mind games. She's not blocking your phone. She's not threatening the relationship or, the, you know, or a breakup. She's not using manipulation or blackmail. If you don't do this, I'll do that. She doesn't insult you or raise her voice or call you horrible, nasty names. Instead, she calmly sits there, uses soft words and communicates with you respectfully because she does respect you. And even when she's upset, she still speaks to you respectfully. Now that right there is a woman that does respect you because oftentimes she can hide it. But then when you have a miscommunication, oh yeah, you can see how someone really feels about you when they're angry. That's what they always say, right? Three people tell the truth. Children, drunk people, and angry people. They're not holding back. So if she's upset by something, she's going to sit there, get to, the matter, get to the bottom of the matter by talking it through with you, asking you questions, getting you to explain your side of things. That's what she does when she loves you and respects you. She doesn't need to resort to threats or, you know, verbal slander because at the end of the day, she trusts you and she knows you're an honourable man. And if you have pure intentions, why would you ever say or do something to hurt her? You wouldn't. So she knows that, but she's hurt emotionally. And despite that, she's willing to sit there, talk things through, and through healthy communication, and gain clarity on what happened. But the key is that she doesn't emasculate you. The same way as a man. You've got a good woman that loves you. Maybe you misunderstood something. Maybe she said something in in a specific way or the tone of her voice changed and you don't understand where she's coming from. But if you know her, then you understand she has pure intention. She's not going out of her way to hurt you. So what do you do? You sit there and you talk it through. Exactly. But that's exactly what a righteous woman does. She communicates healthily without emasculating you. Unfortunately, a lot of men are stuck in relationships with women that don't know how to control their emotions. 
because they don't respect their man enough. They settle for him. They're unhappy with the guy. He's a weak, he's a coward. And they don't hold their tongue back. But when a woman has chosen the man that she actually wants, she's going to be very careful not to disrespect him because she loves him. And as it says in scripture, she does good to him all the days of his life and no evil. So it would be impossible for a woman to, dis to genuinely disrespect the man she loves. Misunderstandings may happen, but those get cleared up with healthy communication. So ladies and gentlemen, that wraps it up. Those are the only two things you need to look for to see if your woman respects you guys. Does she consistently value your presence? And does she always show admiration and respect towards you through her words and actions, the specific things that I mentioned? With that said, that's today's video. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section and even for any of the women who have watched. Is there anything else you would add? Let me know. For those of you who'd like to get in touch with me, whether you'd like to, me to do a video on a case study, a success story that you have to share with me, email down below in the description. And for, those, and for those of you who are interested in joining my coaching program, Relationship Mastery, the link is in the description. Go to my website, book a free 30-minute consultation with me, and we'll get started. With that said, hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless all of you and your family, and I'll see you all in the next one.